Hi, it's Andrew Rondo here from webuildyourblog.com and I've been getting quite a few questions around how I use the RS, RSS feeds for, for benefit on getting traffic to my site. Because if you submit your RSS feeds to all the different RSS directories, you get some good backlinks and backlink building is a good strategy for your blog. Um, you quickly get indexed by the different search engines and all of that can create some great organic traffic, natural traffic to your site. So when I say RSS feeds, on your blog you'll have an RSS feed and I, if I click up here, up will come my RSS feed and this is the feed which I will submit to the RSS directories which means every time I add a blog post the RSS directories get told they get updated and it creates a, a link back to my site so it's definitely worth doing but it's not just your blog RSS feeds you can put in your Twitter RSS feeds your easing directory RSS feeds your YouTube RSS feeds and today I'm going to show you that you can actually put in your category RSS feeds as well so on this particular blog of mine I've got one, two, three, four, five categories associated with this blog. And what you can then do is if you click on one, and that will come the different blog posts in that category. You can see there, and then if, again, I can click up here and I can get, I clicked on the wrong one there, not to worry, it shows this is real time but I'm going to click on the category feed and then there's my feed for that particular category and I'm going to submit that feed to the RSS directories as well so if you've got 10 categories you submit all 10 if you've got 20 you submit all 20 and this is a tool I use and it's called RSS bot and what it does is once you set it up it submits your feeds to all of these different RSS directories down here and there's 30, 30, I think it's 30, 31 different directories and it does it in minutes. And the first thing you have to do is set up your company profile and basically what are they, what that is is just information about yourself. So I'm going to fill that in and I'm just going to make some stuff up and then I'm going to just pause the video and come back in a moment when this is all complete. Okay I'm back I've completed my company profile and you can see down here that some of the RSS directories ask you to set up a an account the ones with the under login required a little tick here and what you can do I will is just go over here and click on sign up you can then go and create an account you only have to create it once um, but there's one two three four and then these ones actually ask you to put in a capture when it's actually submitting the fees so there's one two three four five six seven captures as well now you can don't have to submit to those if you don't want to but it does literally take seconds to do so it's worth doing so if you want to go and set up some accounts click on there sign click on the sign up create your account come back and again you only have to do it once so that's three four logins you have to create so I'm going to assume let's assume that I've done those and then what you do the then in so then you say well what's my feed so I'm going to add a new feed and my feed is this category feed so I'm going to get the feed URL here so that's my feed URL put in my feed URL with a feed name and I'm just that's just gonna call it keywords you want so this is the where you're going to submit your RSS feed to the different directories what keywords do you want in your actual um, backlink so I'm going to put in search engine optimization 
advice that's going to be my backlink for keyword and the description is free advice on search engine optimization for bloggers save that it validates the feed and there you can see that it's added the feed here and then basically you say what do you actually want to do with that feed so you select it and you submit it and then it says okay which account profile do you want to choose and it's just the default one and I'm now going to submit that to all of these different feeds now obviously going to get a few errors because there's a somewhere I didn't create the login but you'll see that once I press start it just basically starts submitting that feed to the different RSS directories and you get a little thing along here saying how well it's done so now I'm going to pause the video again and then we'll come back once it's finished it but it, you can see the time now is 9.52 I'll show you how long it takes there we are on back and you can see down here it's now 9.53 and up here you can see that it's completed all of those and I had one error and I assume the error was because I didn't have some sort of account login um, and that's it that's that one done so every time I now update that particular category with a blog post meaning I add a blog post and I add it to that category all those RSS directories will be automatically updated I'll get all the backlinks automatically with that keyword I entered um, and I'll never have to do it again for that particular category and as I say you can add all your other categories you can add all your different blogs you can add all your feeds from your Twitter YouTube and everything else and all of that creates backlinks for you and your brand and your sites so that's how you use traffic uh, media RSS bot it comes with installation guide and it also comes with um, how to use it guide which is pretty 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 um, uh, pretty well laid out and pretty well structured to you know take you right from the very beginning right through to submitting your sites and there's also things like a ping tool as well so you can ping all your sites and that sort of thing and that's it so I'm Andrew Rondo from we build your blog and I shall speak to you all very very soon thanks bye